Whatever I feel like. I'm mostly into monsters and kind of whimsical forest scenes. I went to Appalachian State University. I got a bachelor's degree in studio art. I also got a minor in apparel design. I've made a lot. About 50. I use mostly my hand. I hand stitch almost everything because I can get the precision that I want. But I do for larger things, I use my sewing machine too. Um, a lot of it I uh, get repurposed from Goodwills and whatnot. Right across the street's perfect. And I use a lot of upholstery material too. That's my favorite. The colors on them. I really like earth tones. And then I, I like coffee a lot. I use it in a lot of my stuff. I use it to you know, dye things, um, stain it, give it a nice little color. It just has a great element to it that I really like. Where do you get these teeth? Um, the ones in the Tooth Fairy there, I actually sculpted out of Sculpey Clay. Uh, for the brown guys and pretty much everything else, I actually took molds of my baby teeth and made resin casts of them. So I have a jar full of teeth <laughs> and just put them in my, my monsters. Sometimes I just come up with an idea and I just want to just make it. I don't even want to draw it because it's just extra time, I don't feel like it. But for some of them I actually have a binder that I just put my ideas in just for future because I know I can't get to it yet. Um, I get the ideas mostly just from my head. Even when I was little I would make up creatures and stuff. I used to make up fake Pokemon cards. <laughs> That's good. So I've always been into monsters. And so basically I just get my batting and I just slowly start to sew it on. I really just want to build up the body shape with this fluffing stuff because I don't want it to be too hard. I like the soft texture of it. And just cover my wire bit by bit and layer it up. And then the end, once I have it all covered, I'm going to make a clay face so it can match the same style of the actual doll. The flea guy? That is overbeaten flax. I was in a fibers class. It was sculpture based. And they introduced us to this flax material, which is basically overbeaten water or paper pulp, which is awesome. It it reacts totally different than paper and it kind of shrinks down. And I loved the texture for it. And we got to experiment with that, so I just wanted to make some kind of peeling molting bug thing. This little guy is one of my favorites. And this one is the first one I did with clay. His feet are clay hooves, and they had modeled them after pig feet. <laughs> and he's got the little spike on the back too. But he made his legs out of chopsticks. <laughs> and I also made a really big one, and I try to keep it a little bit like varied. Molded it to be round and put eyelids and stuff. And this is more of that um, overbeaten flax. This is what the baby is. The big one's huge. And the teeth, I uh, took some cow teeth and made molds of them. So these are resin casts of some cow teeth. My main goal is for this huge gallery piece that I want to do sometime, way in the future once I'm more prepared and have more. But I'd like to do it kind of a museum setting where you go in and you can see all my creatures and kind of experience them. And I'm going to have information, and it'll almost be as if they really were alive. 